If you've ever wondered how light, yes, just light, can reduce inflammation, improve energy, slow aging, and even support brain health, this is for you. I'm Brad from 1000 Roads, and today we're breaking down one of the most talked about health technologies out there, red light therapy. What is it, how does it work, and why, backed by the real science, it's becoming a staple for athletes, anti-aging experts, and people recovering from chronic illness. This is your beginner's guide to red light therapy. So let's start with a reality check. We're spending more time indoors than ever. The average American is inside 90% of the day. That means we're exposed to artificial lights, LEDs, fluorescence, but not natural sunlight. And that matters more than you think. Sunlight isn't just bright, it's full spectrum. That includes red and near-infrared, or NIR, wavelengths. These are critical wavelengths that indoor lights specifically eliminate. Now, why did they eliminate them? Because red and NIR don't produce strong visual brightness. And they create heat. They're inefficient for illumination, so they're filtered out. So most of us are living with chronic deficiency in red light and near-infrared light, and our mitochondria feel it. Now layer on another modern habit, sunscreen. Many common sunscreens block not just UV, but also red and near-infrared light, the exact frequencies your body wants to absorb. We've created an environment where our cells are constantly underlit, and that's where red light therapy comes in. So what exactly is red light therapy? It's a non-invasive treatment that delivers specific wavelengths of red and near-infrared light to your skin and your cells. So here's how it works at a cellular level. Inside your cells are mitochondria, the energy powerhouse of your body. When you expose them to the right wavelengths of red and NIR light, they respond by pulling in more oxygen and producing more ATP, which is your body's cellular fuel. But it's not just about more energy. That light also signals repair mechanisms. It reduces oxidative stress, and it even activates genes that are linked to regeneration. Longer wavelengths like near-infrared can penetrate deeper into the tissues, while the red lights primarily support skin and tissues nearer to the surface. Near-infrared goes beyond the surface, targeting muscles, joints, the brain, and even internal organs. And together, they can optimize your cells from the surface to deep inside your body and ensure the very ends of your circulatory system are delivering the fuel your body needs, areas that often can be starved of oxygen. So you're not masking symptoms. You're fueling the healing process at the source. Now, more light doesn't mean more benefit. In fact, too much can reduce the effect entirely. Red light therapy works because of something called a biphasic dose response. And in simple terms, it says more is not always better. Like nutrients or exercise, there's a sweet spot. Too little and nothing happens. Too much and the benefits can actually drop off. That's why proper dosing, including time in the light, distance from the light, intensity of the light, and the frequency with which you do red light therapy matters. We design our panels around evidence-based protocols that give your body what it needs, not more and not less. Each wavelength we use is backed by thousands of peer-reviewed studies, not just on skin rejuvenation, but on joint recovery, nerve function, brain performance, immune modulation, and so much more. And if you want to geek out, we share some really compelling research on our website under the research tab. You could spend hours reviewing the research like we did. And it's fascinating stuff. But if you don't have time to read it all, here's the key takeaway. It's not pseudoscience. It's real biology grounded in photobiomodulation research that goes back decades. So what can you expect from consistent red light therapy? Here are some of the most well-documented benefits. One, 
anti-aging and skin renewal. You can expect increased collagen production, reduced wrinkles, and better skin elasticity. Number two, inflammation reduction. At the cellular level, red light calms oxidative stress and systemic inflammation. Number three, wound healing and scar reduction. It speeds tissue repair and regeneration. Number four, brain health. Near infrared light penetrates the skull and improves mitochondrial function in neurons. And it's being studied in cognitive support for neurodegenerative diseases. Number five, pain relief. Joint and muscle pain respond especially well to near infrared exposure. Number six, better energy and recovery. Thanks to more ATP, you'll feel more resilient, especially after physical or mental exertion. Seven, improved sleep. Red light doesn't suppress melatonin like blue light does and may help reset your circadian rhythm. We've seen clinical studies and we've seen it in our customers as well. And we've seen it in our own lives. Red light therapy isn't a trend. It's a response to the environment we live in. We moved indoors and filtered out natural light. And our bodies are struggling to adapt. Red light helps us restore the power of the sun that we are missing indoors. This is about restoring a missing input, one that your body evolved to expect. It's not magic. It's light applied intelligently with the right wavelengths, the right dose, and the right purpose. If you're dealing with low energy, slow recovery, chronic inflammation, or just want to slow the visible signs of aging, red light therapy is a simple proven way to support your health from the inside out. And it is fast and easy to do. And if you want to accelerate the benefits of red light, we highly recommend you pair it with EWOT, exercise with oxygen therapy. Both can be done in less than a half hour and they work synergistically to optimize your mitochondria, accelerate your healing, stamp out inflammation, and provide powerful anti-aging benefits. If you're curious about how to get started, we put together a free ebook, The Synergistic Power of EWOT and Red Light Therapy. No fluff, just science and practical advice. You can grab it in the link below. And if you want more videos that go deeper into healing, performance, and the tools we trust, subscribe to the channel. We've got more coming. Thanks for watching.